brand new week, another episode. It is the Dawning Experience with Chami Mwage. On today's episode, we have a TV personality, an activist, a radio personality, and also a public speaker, just to name a few. Queen Potato Rabutapi is not only an example of an epitome of grace, but she does show that as a woman, you do go through a lot and you can come out of it and just share your experiences with the people. Do enjoy our show. A lady from Soweto, you know I'm expecting you to rock up in All Stars and all. <laughs> I, my, like you can see, Wiki Soweto, the Kwai Kwai. You know, like a tight, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a chick from Soweto. But hey, you look like Gangster like that. Right. Right. <laughs> La Lela. La La La. You know what? Um, you are Queen Kotato Rabutabi, but there's something amazing. The name Queen was not there. Yes, I, I was born Khutato Rabutabi yes. uh, because my mom named me Khutato because I'm a child that was born after she had uh, two stillborn mm -hmm. babies. So because I was named after three months because um, what? yeah, they were not sure if I'm going to live. Mm -hmm. So um, after that, then my mom said, Khutato Yaga. So I was born Khutato Rabutabi and then... Uh, Queen is a name that I was given at a, one of our uh, family gatherings because my aunt said, um, if we have a person that is able to represent our surname mm -hmm. the way you do, there's only one person that can be queen within the family. Yeah, yeah. Mm. so amazing. Yeah. Now, Queen, you work Soweto. Why in Soweto? So I grew up, I was born Kona Lady. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, as okay, and then moved to Loli. And then when my mom divorced, Sahamas uh, cash mm -hmm. like in a few piri my petla um, sprayed. We yeah. moved around, and then until my mom got a property called White City. Mm -hmm. So that's where my my teenage life. I yes. lived my teenage life in go go Kenza White City. So everything schooling day in Soweto. So I I. I had, yeah, all schools were in Soweto, um, but then in different areas. You know, because you have a long journey and your journey can take us through like the whole day. So yeah. now I'm just going to cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take you to yeah. 2011, you know, an interesting journey began in yes. your life. Yeah. That's when, after you resigned from an, from an NGO. Yes. Can you please take me through that? So I resigned Go Lifeline. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be a peer educator there, and uh, being a peer educator moved me to being an assistant teacher, and then the school trusting me to teach life orientation in English mm -hmm. um, uh, for three and a half years, and then I resigned. Um, my reasons for resigning was um, I felt okay, my passion lies on helping the community. So mm -hmm. when I... When I moved from from Go 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 Lifeline, my passion was mainly to focus on teen moms because mm -hmm. I was a teen mom myself. So I realized that a lot of teenagers, especially when I had this conversation with my with my late mother, yeah. we would sit and talk about uh, how uh, mothers to teen moms mm -hmm. uh, get stressed. Luena, as a teenager, you get stressed. Like there's a lot of things that teen moms and their families go through. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, was I'm starting a project, yeah, teen moms on the move. Mm -hmm. uh, to it was a drive to take back Barabas Baba Baba Bailung Ruba Chote Bana Kuskolong. Yes. Get skills. Baba Ng Batole Misebeti. I know Ruba. I knew Ruba Bang Bana did challenges in terms of their schooling academically. Yes. So what are some of the skills that they can venture into so that they don't find themselves Basa Sebeti and Bai Tole Ba Khuli Sabana, especially with uh, GPV. But at mm. the time, GPV means GPV, GPV, as everybody talks about it. But no. I knew Ruba a lot of young women stay in abusive relationships mm. because of uh, Bana. You know, as you speak about teen moms, when we grew up, we knew her, like when someone was pregnant, she would hide it and be told, hold it, just stay at home. That's what we used to yeah. do. So my with my mom was get Tolangwana, and then after Tolangwana, you go back to to school. So not every mother does that. Not every child or teen mom has that support uh, system, especially for now I was from a background there in abusive relationship with the father yes. of my children. So for me it was like the relationship I had with my mother, it was a matter of when you just need to go back to school, do you and achieve. So I mean if it wasn't for my mother, I don't think I would be where I am today. Hmm. Yeah. You know, Queen, as you're talking about the teen stage, yeah. I'm taking you back to you being raped as a teenager. Yeah, at, at the age of 14. At the age of 14. Yeah. What happened? 
So um, just a brief, uh, to cut it short, I met a guy. Um, there was an argument between myself and my stepdad. And then I trusted this guy to, because at the time I was vulnerable. My stepfather, mm -hmm. and then the guy then took advantage, raped me, go uh, the ground room, the sports ground, and then, yeah, I had to hide it because um, that's how I lost my virginity. Mm -hmm. So, um, I had to just grow from that, but it. It made me have a lot of anger issues towards my yeah. mom, towards my father, uh, towards everybody. Uh, like I hated everybody at the time. And then that's how I met the father of my children. And still with the father, you had to enjoy a lot of things. Yeah, a lot of abuse, a lot of, um, like he was very obsessed. I'll, I'll say obsessed because um, I wouldn't go anywhere without his permission. So it was more of, um, it was more of, you are mine, you are my property, you don't mm -hmm. move. Um, when... To be honest, the father of my children, like Nani Mtanda, like any yeah. other guy, right? I Luaka Luani Asanya, yo. Actually, may his soul rest in peace because we made peace. Yeah, <laughs> but he showed you flames. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was extremely abusive, yeah. like extremely abusive. And at that time, I was still naive, because uh, he was my first ever stable relationship. Mm -hmm. There's children involved. There's twins. There's my son, and for you, that was eh, eh, fair to you are mine and mine only. Yeah. So. Um, I'm obsessed with him all yo 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 day in day out together like I couldn't even breathe yeah. even when I go to when I decided to go back to school I would be in school and still on stock heko school that's how hectic it was so uh, yeah so queen but uh, you you stayed for how long in that relationship because a lot of women tend to stay in such relationships regardless of being bitten and all that about 6 years um and then we broke up finally when when actually family I had to intervene because um, I woke up in a coma uh, four days later. And um, after that, family I decided to, eh, eh, it's, it's, it's not enough. going to work. Yeah. And yeah, that's how we broke up. Uh, but then uh, years later, when I met uh, my partner, uh, when we, was, we were in a process of getting married, mm -hmm. um, he said to me, the only way for you to heal is to go to that guy and tell him how you feel. And I, and I did go to Ukai Ngakulum and I told him that um, one, two, three, four, this is what you did. I hate it. Uh, I hate you, but I, I feel you know. Yes. And then, because um, we, we went to a park together and he was like, yo, here, here we are. We've never done it as a couple. And now we, we share children and you are telling me all of this. I, I never thought I, I did that. He was so calm know. after all. Yeah, he was very calm. Mm -hmm. And weeks later, he came to my mother and I said, I don't want bad blood between myself and And then, yeah, we, 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 he came, he apologized, and we made peace. Though towards, uh, before he was shot, he felt that we can fix things, but for mm. me, it was uh, uh no. But the uh, most important thing is that you spoke about it. We spoke about it. Died. We were we, we were close friends actually mm. before he died. We became friends, good friends. Ibile, um, he would come and cap he would Where are my children? Can we go? He would pick me up from work here and there because my partner had died. Mm. So, uh, he felt holy. You know, I can help where I can. So yeah. So through the experience of this abuse, you wrote a book. Yes, um, I started writing my book. Um, yo, uh, so I started writing this dear diary mm, here and yeah. there, writing dear diary mm. here and there, and then uh, during my therapy sessions, uh, because I was very passionate with writing, yeah. my therapist said to me, um, "I think what you can do is you can either do a documentary because at the time Nigeria's a training on doing documentaries. Yeah. So he said to me, either you do a documentary or you write a book." So because I was very passionate and then I started writing my book from there. So uh, the reason why I released my book in 2021 was because um, like I can release my book. So I released my book uh, years later. And how did the book do? Did the uh, so we did an exclusive mm -hmm. uh, of 250 copies mm -hmm. 
and then it was only exclusive. So it was sold out before it was even released. So amazing. So um, it was sold out, and I was like, I'm closing the chapter. Anyway, I wrote the book because I really wanted to heal. Uh, mm. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, Queen, I think through your experiences, yeah. that's where being an activist came. So I became an activist um, whilst I was still co lifeline, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't know what an activist is. Was, yeah. So I started becoming an activist, and um, yeah, it's it's been a beautiful journey. Can you for, explain like, that? Over 14... I'm curious about what is it that you So I used to do teen moms. And then because I was so overwhelmed with the work at 18 months, mm. and then I started um, changing to human trafficking, child abduction, and sexual offenses on minors. And then, yeah, that was hectic. Yeah. My life was threatened. Uh, the syndicates would come to my house, shoot at my house. Um, it got so hectic, especially because I had partnered with uh, a friend of mine, uh, Barke Natalie Dubovok. So we became good friends, and then we started doing our activism around human trafficking. Mm. And then that's when our lives were, were threatened. People would go to, his, to a house, but to be the first there, just to uh, Is it because of fear. you guys are dealing with sensitive cases? Yes, then? because there were times when uh, there are cases where we are closer to finding yeah. some of the children. And then syndicates would know uh, I was attacked after some media briefing I did just a, a day before we did um, a, a, an awareness campaign, Yabu mm. Um, there's a lot of cases that we dealt with, but because Mary had the cons, it would, and then until a, a certain cop called me, um, I won't mention his name, but he said to me, Queenie, um, to be honest, Kiliponisa, and uh, our lives are threatened as well. Ronaldo, yes. uh, some of the cops got human trafficking, they get killed uh, because now the penetrator in industry where there's human trafficking, there's drugs. So we're going to die. So it's what uh, we've got children. Uh, as much as we see your pusha, one way or the other, it already, when we look at you, it's going to be a legacy gone wrong yeah. because it's going to be that moment where it's a legacy, but people forget about you. So oh. rather get a career, and then uh, that's when I tapped into radio. But Queen, before the red, why did you choose to become an activist? I, I love helping people. Even today, I still help people. Even my yeah. I was doing intervention at one of the family homes where a uh, Batibela, one of the the the, the, the girls there, mm -hmm. uh, the family house. So I was there uh, helping the family. So. For me, it comes with a calling. There are times when I would get calls. One of the girls somewhere wa wa shapi wa and I would have to, there, to yeah. request and go there and do the intervention. It comes with a calling. So for me, um, before these fancy titles of TV personality and what what and what what, I'm an activist before everything. You know, as I was researching a bit on this activist yeah. thing. I'm curious at the fact that do you guys get support? Yes, you did mention that no. you know police and all, but yeah, do you get support no. from police, the media? No. Okay, what? I won't say the media because I, I I don't get support because I have friends in the media that mm. I would say this is what we are doing. Can you please do one, two, three, four? I get a lot of support from Coach Jose Femi. Um, yeah, that's one of my biggest um, mm. support system. Uh, I get support from Kosovo to TV. They are one of my biggest support system. Even uh, so, we to TV um, did a celebration. Yeah, Queen KR the brand yeah. uh, two years ago at Christmas. So they did it as a Christmas special is an honor. So that they so that they I don't get celebrated outside. So we to fest. I need to be celebrated within home. But now, what do you think should be done? Probably, let's say the government should be done to actually, you know, wouldn't pass. Yes. Yeah. There's nothing that they can do. Yeah. Basically, it's a matter of bring back death penalty so that mm. uh, people are able to know Hori, if I tap into this industry, I might die. So today, people go to Sun City. Uh, banali di giza. Hey, uh, the life victim, is good. Then. Yeah, the victim did do like a They don't even mm. know what a shower is, and then you rape a child, and then you go to Sun City. There's uh, free food, free everything. Free. I I also saw for um ning ning banali di entertainment spots what what yes. so from time to time like I feel that the justice system is failing us. Failed. Rehabilitation must go with harsh punishment. Of course, yeah. you know you look at other countries when it comes to that everything yeah. is harsh. That's why now I I I I say it boldly. Even doing any interview, I would say it boldly. Now I I go armed right now. 
Yes. You do anything to me, I'm I'm going to Yes, can you Yeah, because I know the the justice system will never uh, give my children a mother. Mm. It's about the flower, who tell you yes, but it's a really a memorial say VC. And then Kausani, my children are, 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 are left to suffer. So exactly. that, to be honest, I told myself, I <laughs> Yeah. But you know, for me, this activism uh, job, it's, it's an interesting thing because we only see you guys, Molokodi Kodi, supporting the victims and yeah. all that. Yeah. And we just leave it like that. Like, oh, it's them supporting. It's one of those. Yeah. 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 So, but it's actually, even people will be like, oh, near toy toy. Of course. For easy. Oh, okay. And then everybody... That's until it. It, it, it hits your home. Thank you. Yeah, until it hits your home. But you know what? Thank you so much because now at least I've learned and through yeah. finding out about you being a, an activist, I got to go and research so nice. that I know what it is. Better. Yeah. Activism can... There's, I have friends of mine that are activists, study, like kid plus size activists. So, course, Queen, you know, thank you for wrapping up the part of you being an activist. Yeah. So, there's this um, book that you wrote. Yeah. It's called Falling Pregnant for the Wrong Man. Yes. You know, I love how raw and just upfront you are. Yeah. Someone who choose to write a nice, you know, so, uh, uh, short yeah. yeah. it. Yeah. Short coat it. Yeah. You, you just say it the way it is. Why yeah. this title? Um... Falling pregnant for a wrong man, it's, it, 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 it has different categories of meaning. Yes. So it's, it's more of, as women, at times we don't take responsibility for the baby babies that we choose for our children. Mm-hmm. Um, for, for, for a man, we are challenging. Yeah. But for a woman, it's a matter of uh, you can prevent uh, you female condoms, you contraceptives, you need abortion. Mm-hmm. If so, can she live uh, the morning after pill? Uh, there's yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, there's yeah. quite a lot. So sometimes there's a lot of things that we do, uh, thinking that we can change men to be fathers. Yes. So we must always remember that um, it doesn't necessarily mean that umuntu o o o na makos and a dick can yeah. uh, can be a father. Yeah. There's people that are just in jail and no no in terms of fatherhood. Um. So let me give you a glimpse on the book, the men, uh, some of the men that I categorize. Mm-hmm. You find a man that is married mm-hmm. and you fall pregnant for a married man, mm-hmm. knowing very well. Mm-hmm. Two, social media these days, a uh, whole investigator, which is very easy. Very, yeah. very easy. Mm-hmm. Uh, three, uh, you, you find a man, or you know, he's a party animal, mm-hmm. and then, you find a pregnant. Um, you find a man that will say, I mean, I'm we don't have these conversations actually when yeah, we start true. the relationships. Yeah. And then, boom, when you fall pregnant, and then, Eva worry, no, um, wow, uh, 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 we see the baby yeah. yeah, you know. So, somehow, somehow, I feel that as women, we need to take responsibility mm-hmm. for, for some of the things that we do yes. so that we are not uh, in, in a space where we need to blame that party True. because we could have prevented it. Yes. Uh, falling pregnant for a wrong man, uh, it also reflects back to Nina. Yeah. Uh, before I, I wrote about that, Nina, anyway, I, I, some of the things I don't, I've never been through them. Mm-hmm. But on the book, I I also state that somehow, somehow I think I could have done better mm-hmm. uh, for myself, uh, for choosing that I believe mm-hmm. it. So somehow, somehow I, I, th- I believe that we need to Take full responsibility and make sure that we have uh, better baby days for ourselves so that we don't find ourselves sick for the maternity and Yeah, of course. Yeah. And this is a, these are lessons for you, to be on the trip. Yeah. Um. Again, let's cover let's cover the part of you advocating for young women. Um. Mm-hmm. I'm a feminist. Yeah. I'm pro women. Um. As much as women is the end is that us as women do. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that I'm protecting is the is the wrong about this as I'm buzzing and things like this. But uh, when it comes to uh, a lot of things, a lot of our grandmothers, mothers uh, were angry parents when we were born oh, because uh, they were oppressed, mm-hmm. uh, they were opportunities, uh, they were allowed to do one, two, three, yes. four, and now uh, our, our father and the shatter. 
abo mama ba kona ba bitter because abo fana kome le baba support you know yeah. not the same as women abo mama ba kwa kena kwenye ana because now we are saving our lives so some somehow our women are a little better because uh, of the lifestyle or the way people are so that's why I advocate for women I'm pro 50 50 mm-hmm. I'm I, 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 as much as I'm a feminist I'm a I'm a woman that believes in the indoor so you as a woman who to women who to brand so you have by yourself and that you yeah. come and bring the cheese. Yes. No, no. If we don't bring a cheese, we let me put the bacon. Of course. So that is is the way that was So I'm I'm that woman that is pro. 50 uh, 50. I'm a woman. I'm a feminist that believes that women must go out there, fend for themselves, uh, work hard for themselves, so that yeah. they are able to take care of themselves. That is so amazing. Yeah, I I I'm I'm, I'm pro women. So if 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 when I was say in like in the sixties, I'm I'm totally Wait, against. Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. totally against. Uh, I I I'm in the process of being against Ebola, um, especially when it comes to a, a point where it oppresses women. Ebola, Makodi, Mas. For an example, yeah. Uh, there's those songs that are being done. No, no, I'm 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 a I'm a working yeah. woman, I'm a professional woman, I'm forever on the road. So if a guy loves me, if you shut in a sister and I let it be I I I build on a photo, nama, nama chop chop. Being taken from yes, a kaya, waking up yeah. in the morning, why? You know, yeah. so somehow somehow uh, there's certain things that we must just Uh, shy away from, move yeah. away from, so that we are able to become empowered. I'm not the manager becoming chefs. Or forget color, I'm a big boy. Color changing. So if needs be, uh, let's go back to the drawing board. We have to be. We have to, we have to win as women. We need yes. to set standards for our children. Me now, I'm raising a boy that is uh, taught how to cook, clean, and uh, look after himself. Yeah. And then even with my girls, I'm not teaching my girls to have a local business like that. Oh, so you know, if you're expecting to my 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 first bonds as as turning sixteen this year, mm-hmm. A students. So are you expecting that my A students must uh, lower their standards to mm-hmm. clean and eat in and let them clean anything? Zag, which is good to clean. I is it's 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 in the good to be the one who clean it in the order. No. That is so powerful. But now know. let's let's just move away from that. Yeah. And also there's this uh, program of young girls. Yeah, the team monster. You launched it, uh, the program in 2020. Yes. What was the name? Yes. For what was called Fine Town, Flock Fountain, um, uh, Ladija South. Uh, yeah, Masaiti Out Ah Jinchi. What was the response to us? Because you know, as we spoke earlier, from the tabooness of it, people not wanting to come out and speak about it. It was things. fully packed mm-hmm. when we launched it. We had like about 150 women yeah. uh, that came. So uh, the main goal was because they are from poor backgrounds, only who go the RTP, like poor, like deep poverty. Uh, we brought in my friends that are ama makeup artists. Which Baba may cut for the day, do many nails like Buzz Bunny, Baba Bunny, Mora Ukun for him in cup. Impossible. Yeah. So they came there, did the hair, like it was a beautiful session. But for the main objective of it was you can be what you want to be. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's just because of Uban Bani, Ukeza, Nono, or Ukushe, Natsumoko. When you cannot be that, you can be that, and at, uh, somehow, somehow it was a matter of magabuyele makai. Once born in the mirror, look yourself in the mirror and yes. see the beautiness in you. You mustn't allow a man to tell you that you are not good enough. Or fagi minkapi mo ba ufuna mato. They are from those backgrounds. Yes. Maybe they did or their husbands or their boyfriends that they keep it now. But what is the way that you do? Fagi my eyes is in you. So control my mind. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Well, Queen, that is powerful. Just wrapping it up, you know, um, from what, what, from your journey, what is it that you want to, you know, to do further? Because there's quite a lot that you've been doing here. There's quite a lot of things that you want to touch on. What is it, given a chance to further it now? So, given an opportunity today, um, okay, this is a project that's on the pipeline as we speak. Um, I wrote an autobiography named um, Repeated Heartbreak. So repeated heartbreak is my autobiography mainly about my life. So basically what we are doing currently we are taking the book uh, 
in the process of negotiating for it to be a movie. Yeah. So, so that it can reach a number of women. Um, I want a lot of women to notice that um, and I want women to be empowered. Uh, we have this stigma as a where as a divorced woman, uh, they'll say, and then they want to box me in the corner. Uh, I want to 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 make a difference to that young girl or uh, I want to make a difference to that girl or my darling, you can still do it. Um, I mean, I did it. I'm yeah, a radio host. I'm a TV host. I'm a producer. I uh, like I I invent it. I mm-hmm. implement other projects. People work with me. I work with different uh, people that are highly respected because mm-hmm. somewhere somehow you need to make a mark for yourself. Uh, uh, this is what I always say. See, the day I die, I want to die with an autobiography of more than 10, um, with a, with a obituary of over 10 yeah. pages. Um, who we were every year. Yes. And all of that. And for as long as um, who I want to do, I'm going to fight tooth and nail to make sure that I achieve everything that I want to achieve. Uh, as a young girl, as a young woman, as a as a, as, as a mom out there, it's never too late. Uh, somehow, somehow, when you want to box up because of Fundanga, you don't have to go to Zniat and then you go to Fundanga, or Sebenzi and all of that. It means Sebenzi very unique. But what is it that you are doing when for yourself? There's a lot of people that I know that they come to Jordan Vasa Sebenzi, but you know, today, by driving more than one oh, yes. So for when, Usebenzi, I will shut. Then what is it that when you are planning to do? I work like more than four jobs and mm-hmm. I try to make a time for all of them. Yes. As my children understand the fact of Uti, mm-hmm. as much as Umama are, are not, this is what Umama needs for us. And Tina, in this thing, I'm meeting her for you to see school. Thank you so much, Peter. Thank you so, thank you so much for, 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 for having me. Thank you so much for uh, the beautiful show. Thank you so much for uh, inviting guests that will make a huge difference mm-hmm. because I believe that now you were given an opportunity and now you are uh, extending that opportunity to many young people. So if Chami can do it, if Queen can do it, if many women can do it, mm-hmm. then you can do it. Hmm. So on today's Women in Power edition, we were joined by Queen Kutatsu Rabotabi, who is an activist, like we said. She gave us a, a mouthful, if I can say that, because a lot of women choose to bottle things up. But with what she said to us today, I hope that it was an eye-opener to you at home. Please do ensure that you do share your comments with us so that you let us know what is it that you think is right or wrong. You know, you just give us your input so that we can add on it, we can engage on it. This is the Dawning Experience, and I am Chami Hoage.